one of my students, that was 1988, one of my students brought me a book from the library. He said, uh, this student, it was in French, the book. He said, do you know Azal? I said, he's the, at that time, prime minister of Turkey. That's all I know. I don't know him. He said, but this book is written by Turgut Özal and in French, Edition Plomb. And it's, it is based on your ideas. He even mentions that, he, that his, what he writes comes from you. I said, give me the book, I said. I read the book. I said, but it's plagiar. He is copying me exactly phrase by phrase. And you know the professors, they don't want to have plagiarism. They, they say, oh, that's so important, you know. Say, you won't copy me. I say, I'll go to court. And then I went to see my friend, who was ambassador of Turkey in Ottawa. And uh, I told him, look, do you know this book? He said, uh, yes, certainly I know. It's my prime minister. Do you know that uh, he copies me? He said, certainly I know. I said, well, I'll go to court. So he started laughing. He said, you go to court against our prime minister. Hey, hey. So um, I said, yes, but, but he said, you know that our prime minister is, uh, admires you. He's your, he thinks that you are his spiritual father. He follows you completely. I said, no, my goodness, how, how can he know me? I mean, oh, okay, he read me, but now spiritual father of Turgut Özal. And this is the beginning of the end of Özal. That's why Özal was assassinated. Özal was assassinated because he had accepted me. And since then, we were in 1990, since then, up to his death, openly, he was presenting me as uh, not just his counselor or his friend, but as the inspiration. I was his inspiration, his spiritual father. He was at the time, Azal, trying to have a deal with the Kurds. Okay, so what did I do? And this, I feel that I'm responsible for that for his assassination. Yes, I feel very bad. And I can tell you that, it's a confession. The confederation, 50 years I'm talking about this confederation. I am the father of the Greek-Turkish confederation. Özal was in favor of that. When he went to Greece, of, when he went to Greece uh, officially, the first thing he said, we have to realize the dream of Dimitri Kitsikis, the Greek-Turkish confederation, he said that, to uh, the government of Greece. And Greece said, no, we are not ready. These are the ideas of Kitsigis. It's not our ideas. Why do they use Greece? They don't want Obama, uh, generally, the American government, doesn't want Greece now to go out of Europe. They want to destroy completely Greece, to have gangrena, and already it's a leg that has gangrena. And instead of saying, well, cut the leg, so Europe will be say, so but this is what Schäuble says. He's very good in saying that. He said, if we continue to have Greece, we are finished. We have to throw out Brexit. Schäuble, the minister of economy of, uh, of uh, Germany. Eh? Okay. But the Americans say, no, 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 stay inside. Because if Greece stays inside for one or two years more, the whole of Europe will have gangrene. You see, it's very intelligent. From the beginning of history, the Aegean Sea was the center of the world, not just the uh, Mediterranean, the center, the Aegean Sea, the center, and it continues to be the center of the world. Who has the center of the world as a geopolitician? Geopolitician. Who has the center of the, uh, the world? Uh, rules the world, rules the world. If you have, an Ottoman Empire, a new type of Ottoman Empire, with the center, the Aegean Sea, you can call it the Aegean state, OK? 
can call it the Aegean or the Chamlija state or the Aegean state. But the center, it is like a human body with two, uh, with two lungs. lungs. At the center, you have a trachea. You know what a trachea is? The trachea is the Aegean Sea. Today, this body is bleeding, doesn't exist, because one uh, of uh, the lungs is Rumeli, is Greece, the other lung is Anatolia, is Turkey. And at the middle, the trachea is cut in two. So it cannot survive. So in order to survive Turkey and Greece, you have to unite it around the trachea. You have to reunite it. You see, now all the problems will be solved. And there is a star. We have a flag. And there is a, one second, we have a flag. And we have a star. The star is Cyprus. So we have the triangle, Greece, Turkey, Israel. In the center, we have a star, the Greek-Turkish Cypriot Confederation, which with this star will expand all over in the Aegean and Eastern Mediterranean. That's the plan. Because Turkey will never become a member of the European Union. Forget about it. Never. There's no... no why? <laughs> it's very simple. Because uh, Turkey has the strongest army of all the European countries. One, the strongest army. Second, it is a Muslim country. Third, it has a very big population of 80 million people.